What's up, scholars? Today we are outside again and it is an absolutely beautiful day. Do you see all that beautifulness happening? Yes. And we have been talking about the earth and some of its natural resources, but there's so many things that you can talk about when you are outside. We can talk about the weather. Do you notice the weather today? It is beautiful. It's sunny. It's no longer cold. There's a nice little breeze that's blowing against my skin. It feels amazing. The earth is an amazing place and weather is possible because the earth has an atmosphere. Yes, weather is the condition of the atmosphere at a certain place at a certain time. So right now I am right here in this place and we have a specific weather and people in other parts of the world are experiencing different types of weather. Some people are in colder places, some people are in warmer places, but the reality is that we are all experiencing different types of weather because the earth has an atmosphere and that's one of the characteristics of the earth but there's so many more physical characteristics to the earth the earth is a rocky planet so if we come down here and we look we'll see that the earth has all kinds of soil you see this soil right here in my hand it has soil and then we have natural resources like soil and the grasses that are on the ground and the trees that are in the air, they're all forms of natural resources. They're very, very special to the functioning of our planet and the continuing existence of life on the earth. So the earth is a wonderful, wonderful planet. Another wonderful natural resource that we have is the water that comes via precipitation from the sky. A couple weeks ago, it was raining down here as part of our weather. We had some rainy days. If you had some rainy days, then you are in it too. Rain is another natural resource. Natural resources are resources that come from the earth and they renew all by themselves. They renew themselves naturally. A tree is a natural resource. I plant a seed, another tree is going to come up. The water is a natural resource. The water cycles through the, through the water cycle and it's purified through the water cycle. The animals and plants and food that we eat, those are natural resources. Animals have babies and then they have more babies and they have more babies and all of those kinds of really, really awesome things. So there's so many natural resources to the planet that we call Earth. The rocks are a resource that is very, very important to the functioning of everything. Like everything about this Earth is important. And some of our resources are natural resources that are renewable, like the ones that I was just talking about. When you think about the word renewable, re means again. The prefix re means again. So re, again, new, able. So just think of them as resources that are able to be made new again in a relatively short period of time. I don't have to wait a thousand years for uh, my, my, my cow to have its baby. And I don't have to wait a million years for a tree to be planted. But those fossil fuels that we talked about before, those are non-renewable resources. Those are resources that it takes a very, very, very long time, not one of our lifetimes, a whole bunch of lifetimes, in order for them to be produced. And that's another reason why it's so important for us to come up with other ways to have sustainable energy. That's what you're gonna do as scientists. You are gonna come up with really cool and creative ways to have sustainable energy. So those are just a couple of the resources that are very important and distinct to our planet. Another one that we missed is the air. <sighs> yes, the fact that we are able to breathe in oxygen and to be able to release carbon dioxide that the plants are able to breathe in. Like that is a symbiotic relationship. It is a wonderful relationship that is possible on this planet with us exchanging the resources that are here. So there are many natural resources that our planet has to offer. If you just go out to the playground and you look around, you can go on a natural resource hike and you will be able to find all kinds of things. We will be back on soon with more amazing science.